Kush King 17 here back with another video. Make sure y'all leave a like, comment down below. Make sure y'all go check out my channel, man. Let's get straight into this video and don't forget to spark and subscribe. We smoking on some Sour Patch Kids today. Today, we're gonna talk about hot box essentials. And when I say hot box essentials, I mean, this is stuff that, you know, is a must have if, if you like the hot box or if you just, you know, occasionally hot boxing. This is something you really just wanna have in your possession. You know, this will help you out a lot. These are hot box essentials. Now, after getting into it, the very, the number one, the very number one thing you want to have in your hot box, no matter what it is, this is, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you hot boxing in the cold, the summer, whatever. Gotta have you some water, man. Get you a bottle of water, man. Just leave some water in your car, get you a jug, get you... You know, you gotta have some water in a hot box, bro. You ever been in a hot box and you never had no water? You damn near doing a doing a challenge at that point. So yeah, make sure you stay hydrated, man. It could get dry, it could get hot in here. Not having water can make you not have a good time. But yeah, make sure y'all stay hydrated, man. You can you can really you can really dehydrate yourself in a hot box. Number two, next up as another essential of a hot box, get you some spray, man. Get you some blunt spray. Ozium, you know, I use Ozium. You can get blunt sprays from anywhere. You can get them from smoke shops. You can get them, you can get them basically anywhere, man. Ozium, like I said, make sure you're not in the car when you spray Ozium. Ozium's a little different. It sanitizes the air, the odor. It's not gonna necessarily get 100% the weed smell out of your car, but it will send it like, it will just do better than nothing. It does a lot better job than a lot of other, uh, you know, sprays and blunt sprays or whatever. You can also get, you can have this, which is like almost, it's another odor eliminator. Like you open it up, you open it up, or you just leave it in your car or whatever. It'll eliminate the, that smoky odor, man. So make sure, like I said, another essential is having sprays, blunt sprays, osium. You know, you always want to have that. You never know who you're going to have in your car. You never know who's around, who doesn't like the smell. So always essential to have some blunt spray next up we got on a hot box essentials is gum man get you some gum slash breath mints man you don't have any gum breath mint breath mints or anything you know you leaving a hot box you go into a public place it's gonna be you know your breath gonna be kicking man and people can smell it you talking to some you two feet away from somebody i mean you a few inches away from somebody talking they're gonna smell that smoky breath but having gum or whatever just leaving that in your car leaving it in the in the glove compartment man Central. Get you like a 35 sticks, like two packs, two multiple pack one, and just leave them in the car. Another hot box essential, man. Here we go. We got you some hand sanitizer. Get you some hand sanitizer. You breaking down weed, you rolling it with your fingers. That stuff gets sticks on your fingers. The smell lingers, man. Hand sanitizer really help you out with that. Make sure you get that. These only a dollar eighty five cents. You got no excuse to just keep these in your car. You know, uh, to eliminate germs and everything. I know a lot of y'all be dirty. Don't be cleaning y'all bongs. I know a lot of y'all, you know, be reusing those those dirty roaches, man. So make sure you get you some hand sanitizer. Only 85 cents, man. So come on. Next up as a hot box essential, make sure you have you some papers. If you don't got to, if you don't have you no know, papers, no, no stuffers, no tips, whatever, just make sure you have just a couple of them. I'm not saying you gotta fill your whole car up with them. Make sure you just, you know, leave a couple in your car because you never know you leave the house and then next thing you know somebody's like anybody got some papers or anything just always be prepared man next up and this is the backtrack a little another hot box essential get you some chapstick man for real like i said you putting the blunt to your lips that weed smell lingers so you know make sure when you're done smoking when you get out of hot box uh make sure you have you some you know some chapstick in your car you're gonna be good man you get you some chapstick get that that weed smell off your lips another essential which i don't have right now those eye drops Always make sure you keep you some eye drops in your car. I know a lot of y'all can't, you know, don't want to be seen being high in public or you got to be somewhere. You know, you want to be a little secrete with it. And I get it. And I've been there. Eye drops, man. Preferably, I use Rotos or uh, Clear Eyes. That, that was what I used to use a lot in high school. Roto is really the real deal. Roto is, man, it feel like you put ice in your eyes. But make sure you keep you some eye drops if you got, you know, somewhere you need to be and you don't want to. You know, I want everybody to know that you out high or whatever. I get that. So, oh yeah, another hot box essential, man. Get you one of these, man. I know a lot of people don't talk about it. Get you like a a, a car ashtray. I know you can just get a regular ashtray, but get you a, a car ashtray really has done a lot for me lately instead of trying to get a water bottle ashtray or whatever. But man, like 
this is really underrated getting this eliminate you know it keeps your car cleaner you don't got to ash you don't mess you know sometimes you drop in ash all up everywhere in your car and just getting that that one that fits in a cup holder is, is actually like really convenient so as you can see i really like hot boxing man uh half of my videos be in a hot box uh i've been hot boxing for years hot box is probably one of my favorite things to do while smoking if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like leave a comment down below uh, and do you got any hot box tips? Do you have any essentials that you use? Please let me know down in the comments below, man. And uh, thank you for watching this video, man. Uh, don't forget to spark and subscribe.